Well, there is the Star Spangled Banner, and you know what that means, game time. And here we are at TexanLive.com for the area round playoffs of 6A football. We're coming at you live from Round Rock, Texas, here for the Atascacita Eagles as they square off against Cedar Ridge Raiders. I'm Mark M. Johnson, alongside with me is Lou Rush and our production engineer, Will Betts. And as always, an absolute pleasure to bring you the game live here on TexanLive.com. And if you'd like to know more about Texan Live, feel free to check out the rest of our website for incredible highlight videos, archived games, upcoming events, and a whole lot more. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Texan underscore live. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Texan Live, as well. Well, going over these numbers, Lou, we saw very little differences in between Tascacita and Cedar Ridge. And uh, I think going over the numbers a little bit more, we're trying to find something and just depends on who gets the edge when this game gets underway. Yeah, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to a battle of whose defense plays the best uh, versus whose offense is making it happen because in this particular case, Cedar Ridge won the toss. They're going to get the ball first, and they come into the game uh, scoring at least a touchdown in the first quarter and on a regular basis. And Atascacita, on the other hand, doesn't even give up four points over the course of the season in the first quarter. So, like you said, battle. And that's what we're expecting tonight between these two powerhouses, really. Uh, Atascacita comes in scoring, averaging 43 points a game. And Cedar Ridge gives up 13 points. So, something's got to give here. And just the opposite holds true. Unbelievable. Well, here's the kickoff, taken about a yard deep in his own end zone, taken out by Cedar Ridge. To the far side, getting to about the 25-yard line, stop just shy of there. Like that was Ian Peterson with the return for the Raiders. So we are underway. Cedar Ridge taking the field. They're led by Garrett Sharp, 196 of 317 this season for 2,572 yards, 29 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Unbelievable numbers for this quarterback for the Raiders. There's a snap in the shotgun. Around the left side, the running back's got it to the 30. A pretty good pickup. Yeah, that was Rittenhouse, and Cedar Ridge really uses the run to set up that passing game. They've got a couple of good backs in uh, C.J. Rittenhouse. We just saw num number 33 in Simi Bakari. Quick snap, another pass out to the right side. Well, actually, that's a first pass, excuse me, but a short play running again, and they don't get much on this one. Third down coming up for them. Still about three yards shy of the first down. A hurry up offense. Raiders going with a four wide receiver set and one in the backfield and there's flags on, down on the field before the snap. And that's gonna be a false start against the Raiders. Yeah, so third and two becomes third and seven now instead of an easy pick up or fairly easy pick up we're looking at a little more difficult play here promising first run to start off the game and then now they're backed up and then it looks like it may have been another jump there on a task to see here it might be a free play up in the air and coming down with it did he come away with that he sure did that's Eric Wade Comes into the game, 41 catches, 736 yards, and he took that one out of double coverage. Well, they're gonna say Atascacita jumps. And of course, well, he must not have come away with it because they're just gonna move the ball up five yards. So back to what we had a couple plays ago, third and three. After both penalties, quick throw to the left side, and it is complete across the 40-yard line, a first down for Cedar Ridge. The 
Just over a minute has gone by here in this game. First, first down of the game. Here's a quick pass. And that ball is caught once again by Eric Wade as he takes this one for a good chunk of yards on first down up to out the 48-yard line, still in his own territory. There is the snap, another throw to the right side. It's complete for a first down into Atascacita territory, and that ball was caught. Grant McCartney. Grant McCartney. So we're seeing Cedar Ridge in a hurry up, just quick throws to the outside and let the receiver do the work, picking up five, six, seven yards at a pop. Here they go again, another short pass and a pretty good gain out of this one. To the far side, out of bounds near the 45. About a six or seven yard pickup. That's Kadarius Daniels, he's their top guy. He comes into this game, 71 catches, 1,001 yards. Impressive numbers. Here's another quick pass. And that's gonna be good for a first down, still on his feet. And getting knocked out was Daniels. Back to back catches from him. Cedar Ridge really moving the ball along now. 9.52 remaining in the first quarter. Really pushing this Atascacita defense right now. I right know Sharp came into the game uh, with a 62% completion rate, and this defense comes in allowing just 50% completion rate, but right now he's having his way. Pick up another 15 on that penalty. So that is going to move them to the 13-yard line, Tascacita territory. Fantastic position for them to be in. Here's a run up the middle. Still on his feet. I'm surprised he got away from that. But Rittenhouse with forward motion picks up a couple yards maybe. But it's going to be an offsides against Atascacita before that play. Another five yards added on. Already the penalty is hurting Atascacita. Yeah, late hit on that, a late hit out of bounds on that last play, on that pass play that moved it up 15 to where we are just before that run. Looking to throw to the end zone and just missing his target down there in the end zone. Again, it looks like he was looking for Daniels, but threw it just a little bit out of his reach. So an incomplete pass. Yeah, Daniel's not a big target at five foot eight, but talk about quick and good hands. Ten drops all season. Second and eight. Up the middle, and he's not going to need anything. Touchdown for Cedar Ridge, and they strike first. That run up the middle. Talk about impressive. They made that drive look easy. Look like they're in trouble there on third and eight and just managed to make it work. Here they are going for two points, taking it himself and diving forward and getting the two-point conversion is Sharp himself. So that makes it an eight to nothing game, just like that. We'll take a quick break and be right back here on TexanLive.com.
Welcome back into TexanLive.com. It's already an eight to nothing Cedar Ridge lead on Atasca Cedar after an impressive drive from the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders made it look easy. Nine plays, 77 yards, two minutes and 34 seconds against the defense that had only given up 14 touchdowns in 11 games through the air and 11 on the ground, but Cedar Ridge made it look easy. Boyd and Campbell in the backfield ready to set and take this kickoff, but it's not going to go to either one of them. Taking about the 18-yard line, now looking for blocks, cutting across, not going to get very far, and taken down. Demoretti looked like the one that made the reception. Well, now we're about to see what kind of answer Atascacita has here to begin the game on their first series. And they're another prolific offense when you talk about mirror images between these guys. They've got 41 touchdowns through the air alone this season and another 26 on the ground. Tascacita had another phenomenal season. Another 16-6A finalist falling only to the Woodlands. Other than that, very handily in their district. There's a quick throw over to Campbell. He's got the reception. He's taken down about the 34-yard line. behind the original line of scrimmage on that throw. Here they go with the trips right. One on the left side looking to throw is Boyd. He throws it up the middle and that pass was incomplete intended for Coy Fairman. Yeah, Fairman has been one of Boyd's favorite targets this season and you no reason why you wouldn't want to throw to a guy that stands six foot four and 195 pounds. Not afraid to go across the middle, as we saw right there. Oh, definitely a big target like that, and they they go to him quite often. So they're running a similar formation with the trips right. Boyd looking to throw again. He's going to go a little bit downfield, and that pass is completed to the far side, and this time. He finds Coy Fairman. Dumped it right in between all those defenders. Impressive pass and an impressive catch. And Atascacita has a first down near midfield. Boyd this time is going to hand the ball off. And up the middle is Patrick Taylor, Jr. Good chunk of yards on that one. Good gain. Going with the hurry up offense. Boyd's going to get it to Taylor again. He's going to go to the right side. Now dive forward. He's got himself a first down despite the efforts of Will Shea. Hurry up offense again. They've got themselves a first down. Quick pass over to Campbell. He gets around a good block to the 30 and out of bounds to the 25. Another first down for Atascacita. Now they are moving the ball around pretty well. Well, you know, we thought this could happen this game because these guys have such strong offenses, you know, and Boyd has weapons just like Cedar Ridge has weapons. So here we go, back from the injury timeout. 
Tascacita still trails this one eight to nothing, but they're putting together a quite impressive drive. Campbell with a fake handoff. Gonna take it himself to the right side across the 20. Down to the 10 yard line, he dives forward. He's got himself another Atasca City Eagle first down. And that might be first and goal as it looks like they're marking it right at the 10 yard line. Nice pickup of 15 there as he got to the edge and just outraced most of the defense. Hand off to the left side, and Patrick Taylor is in the end zone, and Atascacita counters with a touchdown of their own. Eight to six now the score. Now they need to decide whether they want to tie it here in the early stages or simply just let Heaton kick it through. Yeah, Patrick Taylor's a beast when it comes. <laughs> he went straight up the middle. Nobody really laid a hand on him. That's the guy you want down there in the red zone, especially down near the goal line. Heaton is just going to come on and kick it and just take the point. His kick is up, and it is good. So 8-7 to seven with 7.47 left in this first quarter. You are listening and watching TexanLive.com. Welcome back into TexanLive.com. 7.47 remaining in the first quarter. Atascacita with a touchdown from Patrick Taylor. Cuts this Cedar Ridge lead 8-7 to seven after the point after from Eaton. Now we talked about these two teams being mirror images. And Cedar Ridge had a nine-play drive. Atascacita comes back with an eight-play drive. Cedar Ridge went 77 yards. Atascacita goes 78 yards. Both score rushing touchdowns. Here's a kickoff from Heaton to the right side, taking about the five yard line across the 20 and near the 25 yard line. That was taken by Will Shea. So back on offense, Cedar Ridge goes. They had an impressive drive last time that resulted in a touchdown and a two point conversion. Here's the snap and the handoff. And there to stop him in the backfield. Jackson Reed, impressive stop from that young man. So the one yard loss will make it second and 11 for Cedar Ridge. Here's the snap. Looking to throw it. Running into trouble, he manages to dodge one, find a hole, and make a little bit out of nothing, for he has finally stopped. Norris Celestine coming and running him down for the Eagles. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He does downfield and way overthrowing his targets around the 35 yard line. An incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. 
Yeah, overthrew a pretty good sized target too. Jaden Godfrey, six foot, six foot two, two hundred pound senior on Cedar Ridge's offense. So, so a quick three and out is what Atascacita wanted and what they got thanks to that opening play by Jackson Reed in the backfield. Getting a little momentum now. And with the punt is McCartney. He takes it to the 40-yard line, bounces up, and just kind of dribbles around there and taking it about the 40-yard 40, 40 line. So Atascacita back on offense. And I'll turn over the Atascacita play calling over to you, Lou Rush. So a big three and out there by the Atascacita defense. And they'll take over now. They averaged, during the season, they averaged 13 points in the first quarter per game. So Boyd has Taylor in the backfield with him. And the give is to Taylor. And he may have got back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see where they mark it. Looks like it'll be a loss of two as it stands. Back to the 38 yard line. And Boyd wants to throw and he's got a man open downfield. Incomplete. Great coverage over there by Cedar Ridge. So third and 11 now for Atascacita. Two receivers left, two receivers right, and Boyd will throw, flags fly. And it looks like a false start will be called on Atascacita. And it is, and that'll cost them five yards. False pause is so much more than Ace Hardwick. So third and 16 now from the 34 yard line. Boyd is back to throw. Throwing down the middle of the field. Wow, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Niall Campbell. And Atascacita will punt. And a fair catch called by Cedar Ridge. And they'll take over at their own 24 with 544 to play here in the first quarter and leading 8-7 over Atascacita. So Garrett Sharp brings this team out for their third series of the night. He's got C.J. Rittenhouse in the backfield with him. And he'll throw on first down to Wade. And that'll move the ball to the 30 yard line. So a pickup of six on first down, make it second and four. And this time the give is to Rittenhouse. He gets around the corner and picks up a yard, a couple of yards, move it to the 32 yard line. So third and two for Cedar Ridge now. And Sharp wants to throw. Got a man over the middle, complete. 
and downed immediately. And now they wave it off, incomplete, and Cedar Ridge will punt. So after two impressive opening drives, by one by each team, they've now resorted to a field position game as this will be the, the third punt now of the night. And Grant McCartney doing the kicking. He stands at his 19. Alaric Solari back to receive the kick for the Eagles. Nice kick. It'll sail over everybody's head and take a nice Cedar Ridge roll and be downed at the 14 yard line of Atascacita. So a nice punt, a good bounce, a friendly roll and Cedar Ridge has Atascacita deep in their own end, deep in their own territory to begin this drive with 4:37 to play. So the ball rests at the Atascacita 14. Boyd with Taylor in the backfield. And the give is to Taylor, and he'll get to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No huddle for the Eagles, as they can go to a hurry up offense here. Two receivers to each side, and Boyd wants to throw. And does, and he has a man. Niall Campbell. And that puts the ball at the 27. Give him a pickup of 13 and move the chains. And the give is to Taylor right up the middle. He's across the 40, he's across midfield. It's a foot race now. He's across the 20 and tackled from behind. And a touchdown saving tackle there by Deverett Dillard Williams of Cedar Ridge. First and 10, Atascacita at the 20. Huge run there by Patrick Taylor. Just a burst up the middle as the uh, front five opened up the hole. And once he got into a secondary, into the secondary, it was just a foot race. And the Eagles will throw. The pass is complete to number 13, Jaden Godfrey. Inside the five all the way down to the two yard line. First and goal, Eagles. And there's the give to Taylor right up the middle. Touchdown, Eagles. Patrick Taylor, second touchdown of the evening here in the first quarter with 2.53 to play. Tough guy to stop, 6'1", 216 pounds. And he just bowled over the, the front four of Cedar Ridge on that play. Snap, kick, good. And Atascacita has the lead. 14 to eight with 2.53 to play here in the first quarter in Round Rock. 
of the area tech area playoff game for these two clubs and we'll take a time out here on texanlive.com Paul Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware and so much more. And welcome back to the Kelly Reeves Athletic Complex here in Round Rock, where Atascacita has just taken the lead over Cedar Ridge, 14 to eight. You're listening to TexanLive.com. The last scoring drive, five plays, 86 yards, a minute and 34 seconds off the clock. The big play, a 54 yard run from Patrick Taylor. That set up the touchdown. And Cedar Ridge from there too. Across the 15, across the 20, 25, 30, before he's tackled by a host of Eagles at the 31 yard line. So Cedar Ridge trailing for the first time in the game, 14 to eight, 244 to play in the first quarter. And they have the ball at their own 31. And Garrett Sharp will throw, and he's got a man. Eric Wade, complete, moves the chains. The pass goes for 12 yards to the 43-yard line of Cedar Ridge. And the give is to C.J. Rittenhouse, and he's across the 40 and deep into Eagles territory down at the 33 yard line. CJ Rittenhouse with a big run. Twenty four yards on the pickup, first and ten. And they'll throw again. This time the throw is out to Kadarius Daniels. And he's inside the 20 to the 29 yard line. So I'll pick up a five on the play. Give him second and five. The give is to Rittenhouse. And he's straight up the middle into the Eagles secondary across the 20 to the 17. 12 yards for Rittenhouse. First and 10 and Cedar Ridge is answering back to the Eagles last drive. And Sharp will throw. He's got a man, it's uh, Daniels again. And he's inside the 10 to the nine yard line. So both these offenses almost moving at will here against the opposing defense. And Sharp will keep it. He's got the first down as he gets to the five yard line. A pickup of three, first and goal for the Raiders. Fifty-one seconds and counting here, left in the first quarter. And the give is to the up back, and he's into the end zone. And that's Simi Bakari. So Simi Bakari, a five-yard touchdown run, ties the game with 39 seconds to play in the first quarter at 14.
And Jay Villa on for the extra point. And it's blocked by Atascacita. And it looks like there may have been a flag on the play. Offsides against the defense. So we'll replay it. And this time the kick is up and good. And with 39 seconds left in the first quarter, Cedar Ridge retakes the lead over Atascacita 15 to 14 and we'll Take this time out on TexanLive.com. Paul Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. Welcome back into TexanLive.com. Mark M. Johnson along with Lou Rush and our production engineer, Will Betts. Cedar Ridge reclaims the lead, 15 to 14. And this game going back and forth, Lou. We could, <laughs> we could be in for quite a treat here. <laughs> yeah, so far it's been quite exciting. 14 points for Atascacita, 15 for Cedar Ridge, and we haven't made it out of the first quarter yet. Only 39 that, seconds left. That last scoring drive, two minutes, 14 seconds, seven plays, 69 yards. But it was the big run by C.J. Rittenhouse that set that up. So here is the kickoff going to Atascacita, and it's going to be taken about the 15-yard line. And there are flags down, stopping this play dead. It's Devin Hafford was the one who took the reception for Atascacita. You know, we talked before the game about the, how potent these offenses were, and we've seen it here in the first quarter, Mark. Uh, Atascacita came in with 41 touchdowns through the air, 26 on the ground for a total of 67, and... Cedar Ridge has 50 on their own. My goodness. Well, let's see if Atascacita can do something here, try to up the numbers, maybe separate themselves slightly from Cedar Ridge. Here we go. There's a pitch out to Taylor. And he's going to take it across the 20 to about the 21-yard line. Not a bad pickup from the Eagle running back. Well, they started with a running play on the last drive that started at their 14 and they ended up in the end zone. So see what happens here. Here they go, a gain of five makes it second and five. A quick pass by Boyd, but he misses his intended target. Diving forward to try to get that one was Coy Fairman and couldn't quite come up with a grab and he thinks he should have had it. Looked like a tough catch though. Now that brings up third and five. Only two seconds remaining in the second quarter, or excuse me, the first quarter. So here's the last play of the quarter. And Boyd's going to be looking to throw. And he loses the football around the 20-yard line, and that is picked up on the far side. Recovering that ball for the Raiders. Looks like it's Anthony Deary. It was Anthony Deary. And Davian Boyd just lost the handle on that ball. We didn't think turnovers would play a big key here because both, you know, these two teams came in with just eight fumbles between them this season. But there's the first big play of the game right there. Not particularly the way you want to end the quarter, but that is the end of the first quarter. Atascacita Trail, Cedar Ridge, 15 to 14, and we'll be back for the second quarter right after this.
Download the new Fox Sports Southwest Football Friday app. Connect and get live scores statewide. Find games near you. Plus, get your photos on our Friday night show. This is the one app that can handle high school football in Texas. Hit the App Store and type Football Friday. Friday high school football isn't over till you watch High School Scoreboard Live. Final scores, big plays, plus the DQ Big Game of the Week. Be a part of the most watched high school football show in Texas. Friday on Fox Sports Southwest. One network is big enough to cover the great state of Texas, and only one show travels across the state to get the skinny on high school sports every week, all year long. You want the best in high school sports? Catch High School Spotlight on Fox Sports Southwest.